We're here today building an artificial reef in Calcasieu Lake. We're going to deploy 10,000 tons of crushed concrete, pieces 12 inches and smaller, out on an area of five to seven acres to create some hard bottom habitat out here in Lake Calcasieu. This is a project that's been planned for many years here at the local chapter, and we're just happy to be here today to see it come to fruition. A lot of people have worked a lot of hours on this project, and it's finally coming to life. And we're looking forward to a great area out there to support recreational fisheries and to aid the environment, provide habitat, and other ecological services. We're excited to be here today. This is the 10th in a series of artificial reefs that we constructed across the coast of Louisiana from Slidell to here to Calcasieu Lake. We began this program in 2002, and it's always been a local effort with the volunteers, as it is here in Baton Rouge and Lake Charles. We encourage all of our local chapters to be involved in their community efforts and their community issues, and this is the finest example of it here. We're adding to the habitat here in Big Lake. We're increasing the fisheries. We're increasing the angling opportunity. But more important than that, we're involved in the resource that we participate in. What's very significant about this reef is we're using concrete that was recycled from Interstate 210's resurfacing. This is the trend that we're heading towards now with artificial reefs. In the past, we've had to barge in limestone from Kentucky or Missouri. But we're trying to use local materials, environmentally suitable, recycled from bridge and road projects to make these projects more locally feasible and accessible. So we, we have to give a lot of credit to our, our partners and support here, of course, Wildlife and Fisheries here in Louisiana administers and manages the Louisiana Artificial Reef Program. There are our equal partners in this. They do the permitting, the scientific work, the follow-up, and after the reef is constructed, it's part of the Louisiana Artificial Reef Program, and they will manage it. So you can go to our website, ccalouisiana.com, to find the locations of these reefs. You can also go to Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries websites and they'll, they'll list the inshore artificial reefs not only that we have constructed but a few other groups and the department themselves. So today we're going to go out, there's a barge stationed out there right now with equipment unloading this crushed concrete on the location that's been permitted for this purpose. When it's completed 10,000 tons of concrete will have been deployed on an area of five to seven acres in, in circumference. After deployment, we're going to mark this area with some mooring buoys so that people can identify the area, tie their boats up to it, and, and enjoy some fishing out there. This project is uh, the second of the type that we've done. Uh, typically, we, we will uh, set up a barge with uh, transport material and then the equipment to offload it. And it's a very simple process. And the hardest part is getting the rock to the site. Once it's there, it's just a matter of dumping it off the side of the barge and placing it. The tricky part of this project is, is it can only be 18 inches deep on the bottom. So we have to make sure the level is fine at the end of the project so it doesn't become hazards for the, uh, the boaters that might drive across it. It's so important for a number of reasons. One is the fact that it was a, an idea that was brought up, planned, developed, and implemented by volunteers largely. The Louisiana Coastal Conservation Association working with the state and federal agencies in terms of not only where the location of the reef should be, but also finding the materials working with the contractors to get the materials out and doing it in a time frame and in a manner and in fact in a cost that actually is quite a bit less than anything we would do as an actual federal or state project ourselves. It also fits with this area and that's really important. Uh, Calcasieu Lake in southwest Louisiana is known for terrific sport fishing. So as sport fishermen living in this area picking the areas that make the best fit for this reef to go into and become a part of what is a terrific area for fishing in this area, not only for now, but also for future generations. All of our lakes and bays in Louisiana have soft bottoms, either sand or mud. Without a hard surface, the marine organisms can't attach. Anything from the oysters and clam shells to plants to other invertebrates, they have to have a hard surface to attach to, and that's what we're providing for them. So this begins the food chain for the marine species out there. The, marine, the benthic organisms on the bottom will habitate and the bait fish will come in and then they will attract the sport fish that our members like to go out and catch. So we're out here giving back to the resource that we like to participate in so much, hoping that we can 
in some way contribute back and make it a better place for everybody. Habitat creation is very important and uh, any hard substrate out in the marine or brackish water system will, will create habitat for oysters to set on and other uh, crustaceans that live in and around and that creates you know the food chain. It builds the food chain from there all the way up to harvestable species like oysters and speckled trout, redfish, flounders, black drum and all the other fish that are out there. Great for the habitat of the lake. Oysters will secure to the bottom of the material. You'll have small fish, you'll have a little bit bigger fish, and then you'll have big fish eating them. And uh, that will complete the process. We'll have a place for fathers and sons and moms and daughters to come and catch fish. The addition of another artificial reef is just wonderful for the lake which promotes fishing. Cameron Parish has a lot of fishing to offer, but we, we promote it and there's a lot of people come from all over the state and all over the United States to fish in Cameron Parish. And so any of these reefs is, is just a great addition to it. We appreciate what CCA has done for us. We appreciate their advertising and all that. And uh, we're, we're deeply in their debt. It's exciting for me to uh, see the recycled material used in another uh, aspect of uh, restoring the coast and uh, building new reefs and, uh, and then to being involved with this project with CCA. Brad Vincent is one of our longtime CCA members here in Lake Charles. His whole family, the Vincent family, has been very active for, for many, many years since the founding of CCA in Louisiana. And Brad unfortunately passed away in 2010. He was an avid sportsman, a participant in the resource, a conservationist, and a great member of CCA. And we just felt it fitting to dedicate this reef in his name and in his family's name. And we were very fortunate to have a lot of the Vincent family here today. And they actually placed some flowers out on the reef in memory of Brad. Whenever we heard that the reef was going to be named after him, it was a definite shock. Um, but I couldn't think of any better man to name it after. He, he loved fishing and he was um, big on conservation and to know that there's going to be a spot in dedication to him and a place where we can um, build a reef for others to come and fish, he would, he would definitely be proud about it. Today was just truly a, a great moment to see uh, a, a, a reef built in honor of my brother who was always a, a proud CCA member, but also the, the use of recycled concrete, which is uh, something that our family, the Vincent family, has always uh, supported using recycled concrete because we are in the concrete business and we hope that this is, uh, there are going to be many, many more to come using recycled concrete. and uh, the. We feel like that the recycled concrete it truly is an enhanced uh, reef material to be used. We do have a new addition to our family named after him. We have a, a year old grandbaby and uh, she's named Bradley and uh, we're just kind of pleased that, that she'll have a legacy. She did not get to know her grandfather and that she will have a place where she can go that was dedicated to him, that she can remember him and know things about him and um, his friends and family as well. I mean, it's just a, it's very overwhelming experience. It's, it's an honor. It's an honor for our whole family. I mean, we just, we're so pleased. We just want to thank all the people that have been involved with this today. It was, um, that was in itself overwhelming. I mean, we came out, the Coast Guard, the Sheriff Department, CCA members, individuals. It was a, a very big event today. Media. To get us out here in this kind of weather, in those boats, um, it was just unbelievable. If you've ever been on Big Lake, then you know how it is in these, on these kind of days. So we just want to thank all the involvement in CCA, all the people that are involved that, you know, give their time, effort, and money to this. Um, it's just a good thing. It's a good thing to be a part of. So um, take your kids fishing. My husband would have wanted that and uh, have a good time and it's a good family experience and we're just hoping for great things to come from this so we want to thank everyone. I think it's a super uh, project seeing all the entities come together, Wildlife and Fisheries, CCA and all the many other public entities coming together, even the contractors working together to be able to put this project together and do it and uh, be able to do uh, almost two times as many acres of reefs uh, being able to use uh, the recycled concrete. My thanks uh, 
to the Louisiana Coastal Conservation Association. You know, all the people that you'll be talking with and actually are out here today, not a one of them has earned a dime in terms of their participation in this project, seeing this project go into the water. And as much of a fisherman as they may be individually, the resource they're putting into that lake today is going to be here for decades and enjoyed by so many people across this coast that it's a real testament to the dedication of the Coastal Conservation Association and its membership and all the things that they do now and in the future to serve this area. This is part of an ongoing program that we've had for the, since 2002. We've built, this is the 10th reef we've built across the Louisiana coast from Slidell to Lake Charles. We have two more reefs on the drawing board for this year. Next year we're planning two or three more reefs. This is an ongoing effort that we're doing in partnership with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Artificial Reef Program. Our corporate sponsors, our other partners, contractors, volunteers, it, it, it takes really takes a family to build this thing and we've got it all together here today and we're glad that we could share this with you.